The United States government collects a lot of data about its citizens. One of those data points is the age of the residents. When you look at the information, you start to see that there are patterns. Some states have an aging population, while other states attract young families with children, and in some states it's a byproduct of economic issues and bad policies. In this video, we're looking at the 10 states with the largest number of young people, meaning those under the age of 18. Number 10, Louisiana. Louisiana residents under the age of 18 make up 23.4% of the state's population, and those under the age of 5 account for 6.5%. But from what I can tell, that's not necessarily due to planning. It's estimated that 60% of pregnancies in the Bayou State are unplanned, and there were 4,007 teenage births for the last year of data collected. That's the third highest teenage birth rate, with it coming in at 27.8 per 1,000 girls, and 18% of those births are to teenage mothers who already had at least one child. According to a study done by WalletHub, Louisiana has the largest percentage of at-risk youths in the country, thanks in part to higher-than-average dropout rates, with an average of 7,000 teenagers dropping out every year. The percentage of adults over the age of 25 without a high school diploma equals out to 14.8% of the state's population. Louisiana residents also have to contend with a high poverty rate at 19% and high obesity rates in children. They calculated that 1 in 9 people between the ages of 16 and 24 are neither working nor in school. That's a lot of young people who have just seemingly checked out of society, and that was before the pandemic caused schools to experience upheaval. Once you factor in that only 75.5% of the households in Louisiana have internet access, the number of children falling through the educational cracks rises even higher than usual. Louisiana wasn't exactly winning any awards in the education category as it was, but it's gotten worse. WalletHub ranked them at 50th place for the last year, with New Mexico being the only state to fare worse. For the teenagers who want to work, there is a 9.9% unemployment rate. All of these issues keep young residents from leaving the state, so they stay and have families and the cycle continues. Number 9. North Dakota According to a study done by Money Rates in 2019, North Dakota is one of the best places for young adults to relocate. They ranked that based on career opportunities, education affordability, housing abundance, cost of living, as well as opportunities for fun and fitness. And according to the data compiled in the last census, North Dakota is the only state where the population got younger over the last decade. The median age dropped from 37 to 35.2. Government officials have attributed that to having a healthy economy with plenty of jobs, attracting younger millennials and now Gen Zers. That explanation makes sense because they tracked the number of 18-year-olds that they had within the state, and then the next year they tracked the number of 19-year-olds. There was an increase of 3,395 people, or 34%, so they have had an influx of younger residents moving into the state. Once established within a community, those new residents settle down and have families, so the percentage of residents who are under the age of 5 is 7.1%, and those under 18 make up 23.6%. Number 8. Kansas Rural America has been seeing a population decrease for a few years now, with people moving closer to big cities, and Kansas is no exception, with 80 counties losing residents in the last census. The state's population has become more concentrated in the Kansas City area. That is due to both people migrating from other parts of the state as well as from outside Kansas. The state's most populous county, Johnson County, where Kansas City sits, has grown by over 50,000 people over the last decade. Part of that growth comes from city and county administrators doing things that would draw young families to the area, such as opening a new elementary school and building more starter homes in quiet neighborhoods. The reason that they started trying to draw in new younger residents who would put down roots was that they found that they had an aging population who would require services that are typically paid for by younger working members of the community. Their efforts seem to have worked because 24% of the population now is under the age of 18 and 6.4% are under the age of 5. Number 7. Oklahoma Oklahoma doesn't exactly conjure up an image of coolness in one's mind, but they're working on that and they're trying to attract new residents. They have a program called Tulsa Remote that offers a $10,000 grant that can be received up front and applied to the purchase of a new home for people who can work remotely. For those who need to find an in-person job, Oklahoma has one of the lowest unemployment rates in the country, and they have a wide variety of fields from which to choose, so that's how they're getting families with children to move into the area. But they also have an issue with children in their state also having children. Oklahoma has the fourth highest teenage birth rate at 27.4 per 1,000 girls, and 20% of the births to girls between the ages of 15 and 19 are not the mother's first child. These things help contribute to a population that is 24.1% under the age of 18 and 6.5% under the age of 5. Number 6. South Dakota South Dakota has been on several lists recently for different reasons for people to move there. 
a publication called Money Talks, says that Sioux Falls is the number one city for young professionals. CNBC Money says it's the best state for veterans to live and work. WalletHub called South Dakota the least stressed state in the U.S. Magnify Money says it's the second best state for overall well-being and happiness. And U.S. News ranked it as second for quality of life. It seems that people are listening because the population increased by approximately 81,000 between 2010 and 2021. That's the fastest population growth for the state in more than 50 years. They attribute the growth to a few different things, including a high birth rate that exceeds the national average at 70.6 births per 1,000 women, a low death rate, and migration due to an increase in available jobs. 24.5% of the residents are below the age of 18, and 6.9% are under the age of 5. Number 5. Nebraska According to a publication called Amory Road, Nebraska has the lowest unemployment rate in the nation. The state brings up images of fields and crop production, but they also have emerging sectors, including information technology, healthcare, and construction. They also have low housing costs, both for rentals and for purchases. Utility expenses are also below the national average of 12.7 cents per kilowatt hour. They also have something called agritourism, which is Nebraska's idea of fun. They say it's where farm and fun meet. It includes activities like cheese making, horseback riding, beer brewing, and crop harvesting. They also have 44 colleges and universities, which attract younger people to the state. The population grew 7.4% between 2010 and 2020. This was a combination of a higher than average birth rate and a large number of immigrants moving into the state. That equals up to those under 18, accounting for 24.6% of the population, and those under the age of 5 make up 6.8% of the population. Number 4. Alaska Alaska's fertility rate has consistently been above average since they started tracking the data. In the 1990s, Alaska had one of the highest birth rates in the nation at 2.6 children per family. That's gone down slightly since then, but it's still above average at 2.2 children. Alaska also has quite a bit of migration occurring, both to and from the state. In 2000, only 38.1% of Alaskans were born in the state. Part of that is due to the military installations within the state. These things help contribute to the population being 24.6% under the age of 18, with 7% under the age of 5. Number 3. Idaho Idaho has been one of the trendy places to move over the course of the last few years, and it's not just domestic migration fueling the influx of new residents. Over 6,000 people move to Idaho from overseas on average each year. According to a publication called Idaho at Work, children make up 21.2% of the people moving into the state, and the segment of the population that falls below the age of 18 grew by 4.9%. One reason people with young children might be moving to the gym state is that they have a well-funded public school system. Idaho has an above-average high school graduation rate at 93.75%. Young people also have plenty of career opportunities, including a tech boom taking place in Boise, and there's a low unemployment rate. Add in that compared to the national average, Idaho has a low cost of living and low crime rates, and they experience all four seasons, it's easy to see why it's becoming such a popular state. The under-18 population makes up 25.1% of the population, and those under the age of 5 make up 6.5%. Number 2. Texas. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, one out of every 10 people under the age of 18 in the U.S. live in Texas. Part of this is considered a natural increase that is driven by the birth rate being higher than the death rate. Unfortunately, some of that is due to teenage pregnancies. According to the CDC, Texas has a rate of 24 births per 1,000 girls. Every year, approximately 35,000 young women under the age of 20 get pregnant in the state of Texas. The Lone Star State also has the highest rate in the United States of repeat teen births. The other part of the equation for why there are so many young people in Texas is the net migration. Texas is the second most popular state to move to at the moment. They gained 1.9 million new residents between the years 2010 and 2019. Since 2010, Texas has had the highest rate of growth in the under-18 population out of the six most populous states in the country. It grew by 7.6% over the last decade. 25.5% of the population falls into the under-18 age group. Those under the age of 5 account for 6.9%. The reasons for why so many people are moving their families to Texas include job opportunities, taxes, lower cost of living, and warmer weather, just to name a few. For those who prefer city living, Texas has six of the country's 20 biggest cities, so that can also be a draw. Number 1. Utah Utah has a higher than average birth rate, with 66.7 births per 1,000 women. That includes a teenage birth rate of 12 births per 1,000 for women between the ages of 15 and 19. Part of that is due to the prevalence of the Mormon Church. In the U.S., the average age for a first marriage is 29 for men and 27 for women, but in the LDS Church, the median age is 22, with many being much younger. 
and they tend to get engaged after dating for only three to six months of dating. The church controls a lot of the policy decisions that are made, so Utah has some really restrictive rules when it comes to women's health services. So early marriages combined with high birth rates means there are a lot of young children within the state. Then add in that the median age of people moving into the Beehive State is 25. Those people move in and put down roots, including starting families. These are reasons why 29% of the state's residents are under the age of 18, and 7.7% are under the age of 5. Do any of these states come as a surprise to you? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and want to learn more nerdy statistics, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I remain stuck in the current field.